This is gonna be tricky to set up. Yeah. Yes? Okay. <laughs> hey, what's going on, you guys? I'm Budgie Rolls. If this is your first time here, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So if this is your first time, you won't notice any difference. Uh, but if you frequent my videos, you will see that my setup is slightly different here. The reason for that is because I normally have like that little table where you guys see me cooking in front of my stove, but in the recent decluttering and tidying up thing, I purged with the portable dishwasher, which is what also doubled as my like island for making videos. So I decided to get rid of it because I got rid of a bunch of like things that didn't need that just, we just didn't need. So there was no need for me to have a dishwasher any longer. So I got rid of it. But this is gonna be our setup uh, for the next couple videos until we figure out what to do exactly for our sort of like little island setup. I want something that's collapsible. Yada yada yada. Anyways, I don't want to bore you. Um, just wanted to tell you what was going on. Uh, so anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys something that is so, like, reminiscent of my childhood because growing up, my mom always made a pumpkin, uh, or I, I'll say how it's called, uh, abichuela con calabaza, or abichuela guisa con calabaza, which is basically a pumpkin uh, stewed beans, and this is the Puerto Rican style pumpkin stewed beans, and I'm so excited to show you guys how to make it, so let's get veggie. Alright, so I know this is like a super crazy setup, but it's like extra personal and like kind of vloggish. I know. But, uh, bear with me. Bear with me. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to be adding into our pot is two cans of pinto beans, and these have been rinsed and... rinsed. <laughs> and I'm sort of like getting a little lower so you guys can see me, because I am short, but I'm not that short, I promise. So next I'm going to go ahead and add in two cups of vegetable stock. And I'm going to go ahead and put this heat to like a medium high. Alright, so for our seasoning, our spices, we're going to be adding a fourth of a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of oregano, and one teaspoon of black pepper. So, um, you can add more pepper, less pepper, however you feel like doing. And next I'm going to go ahead and add in half of a can or a cup of tomato sauce, but I am using half of a can of this 8 ounce, which is obviously half of a cup right all right and next i'm going to go ahead and add in our sasson packet this is goya sasson you can use whatever brand sasson you like but i like to use the one that comes with uh cilantro and a uh, chiote i don't know if you can see that but okay. yeah all right so i'm going to go ahead and add that also let me know what you guys think about this whole format of filming um because if you really really don't like it i will super speed up the process of making the other way I make videos work for you, okay? Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and add a fourth of a cup of sofrito, and sofrito is just a mixture of onions, uh, green pepper, cilantro, garlic. Um, I have a very simple sofrito recipe up on my blog, and I will link the recipe to that below, as well as the recipe for this recipe will be linked down below as well. Alright, I'm also going to be adding some adobo, goya adobo, um, this comes in all sorts of different brands. It's just a mixture of different um, seasonings in there. I'm going to add, like I said, half a teaspoon of that. And this is to taste. You can add more, less, however you like. And I'm also going to be adding just a few drops, about like an eighth of a teaspoon of uh, smoked or liquid smoke. The reason I'm adding liquid smoke is because traditionally... Uh, these beans are made with like some sort of pork, like smoked pork or smoked sausage. And since we're not adding the smoked sausage, obviously, because it's vegan, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of liquid smoke to make them sort of have a little bit of a smoky flavor. And to this, you also want to add one dried bay leaf, but somehow my bay leaf seems to have like disappeared. I think that maybe it fell out of my like pantry shelf and into the recycling bin because like right underneath and then got thrown out without us even noticing. I feel like that's the only thing that could have happened. Like why else would it be gone? Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and let this come to a boil. Once this comes to a boil, I'm going to lower it down to a simmer, cover it up for 10 minutes, and then I'll be back. Now that it's boiling, I'm going to go ahead and lower this to a simmer 
and cover this up, but I'm going to leave like a little tiny edge on the side so that some of the smoke can come out or some of the um, steam can come out and it doesn't like overflow. We're going to go ahead and set this for 10 minutes. Alright, so it's been 10 minutes and we're going to go ahead and add the rest of our stuff, but first I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick stir. And now I'm going to go ahead and add our calabaza or our pumpkin, but this is not like regular pumpkin. This is actually something called calabaza, which is like a small sort of like greenish pumpkin. If you don't find calabaza, which is found like in any uh, or in a lot of like Spanish sort of like markets, if you don't find it, you can also use butternut squash. Butternut squash is the closest thing um, to calabaza I find. So I'm gonna go ahead, crank up the heat to a medium high, and then I'm gonna let this like come to a boil, and once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna lower it down to a simmer. So now that this is boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and lower this to a simmer, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up again, and we're gonna let this cook for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the pumpkin is tender. One thing I almost forgot to show you guys is one cap full of vinegar, and I just used uh, white vinegar, and I was taught this by my mom growing up to put like a little bit of vinegar into your stuff just for like a little extra sort of like tang. So it's been 15 minutes, and you just want to check to see if your pumpkin is softened. Or you just you just kind of like squish one with your spatula, and if it goes right through it, then your pumpkin is all cooked, and this is ready to go. All right, guys, so you know what time it is. It's time for the taste test cam. And even though I have a different setup, I'm still going to stick to this taste test cam because everybody loves a good old taste, taste test cam. So this is the, the, the beans that we just made. Um, and the rice is just instant yellow rice. And for the instant yellow rice uh, to turn into Spanish rice, all I did was added about a tablespoon of sofrito and a dash of cumin, onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of uh, black pepper. I also did some salt to taste. And then I just threw in the rice and let it sit for five minutes and I have instant Spanish rice. Also, I have a recipe on how to make these tostones and I will also link that video down below. But let's go ahead and taste these beans because I know they're delicious. Oh, mmm, mmm, oh yeah, it's so good. Mm. These beans are bomb.com, perfect for fall because there's calabaza all over the place and there's also butternut squash if you don't find that. Uh, another thing uh, that I want to point out is that the simple sofrito that I have linked down below is a very simple sofrito and by that I mean that it's not like super strong in flavor which is why I use a fourth of a cup. If you're using store-bought sofrito, I would recommend only do two tablespoons of the store-bought sofrito because those are a lot stronger than the ones that I make. But, uh, so yeah, this is delicious. You guys have to, have to try this out and let me know what you guys think. So that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you make this or any of my other recipes, people, please feel free to tag me on Instagram because I would love to see what you came up with. Also, if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. And yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon. Thank you guys for watching.